I like what Chicago State's doing right now. They're trying to uh, front Kofi Coburn and trying to keep the ball out of the paint. But Adam oh, Miller wow. picking up right where he left off yesterday. See how they're trying to front in the post to deny Coburn the ball. But a lane opens for Adam Miller. Two more. Bill Gill, not too shabby. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Late shot clock. Here comes oh, Joe Subu again. He takes it right at the big fella, Daymood, at seven feet. But yesterday, the damage was from outside. So far in this one, Illinois is just attacking the rim. And here they go again. Great pass. Easy for Coburn. And you've got two seniors and a junior in addition to Adam Miller on the floor. It's going to be awful tough to stop. Oh, Chicago State going to a little zone. I like this change a little bit. They've been unable to keep the ball out of the paint. But Illinois still gets it in the paint, and Bashanishvili dunks it. Now Chicago State back into a, a matchup man, trying to give the Illini different looks to no avail. Need to count the number of times he switches from the Gator to the face shield and back. He's already made one transition. Jumper oh, Adam man. Miller in the mid range. And he really didn't even need to show up to practice because the guys knew the system so well. That's right. And, and you get older. Oh, goodness. oh my. Kofi Coburn again. Io DeSumo, Trent Frazier, Demonte Williams. Those guys do most of the coaching. You know, there's a, a prominent Illini alum that I didn't mention that was on that basketball team that's been one of the, the best sports agents in the in the history of sports. That's Mark Steinberg. Yet another misfire from deep. So if you total yesterday and today, they're four of 26 from long range. And how about that little reverse from the freshman Andre Curbelo? Struggling, you can see him grimacing as he comes out to set the screen. Oh, great hands. Xavier Johnson gets stripped. And Dosumu takes it to the rack. Those turnovers have led to buckets and caused this 14 to nothing run right now that Illinois is on. Polynes knocks it down. He's an East LA college transfer, a junior. Going up against uh, six foot one Lewis. Well, he's keeping himself in position. Well, Polynes showed the outside shot. That was a nice spin and fade. He's pretty much been in. He has nine of their 17. Dosumu, great pass. Coburn, easy dunk. Here's Davis. We saw him tweak his ankle the first half. Good to see him back out there and a strong finish for the senior from Compton, California. Dosumu pulling mid range game strong for the junior. Yeah, that's nice. A lot of players are instructed either to shoot the three or get to the rim. But that, <laughs> that mid range is something else. But Dosumu has it stripped, however, it falls out to Grandison. Look at Miller. He'll take it. Back to back threes for the freshman. <laughs> Now the bucket there by Kashan David curls it around and it's taken away. Suffocating defense. And Curbelo. You know, we talked about the turnovers, but he can be a great passer. The Illini career high 28 yesterday, and he's got the steal here. Looking for two more. He might get three more. Davis is going to back it up. Again, everything. To your point, is just out there on the perimeter. Deep three, Isaiah Lewis, and he knocks it down right before the horn. Known before that he can knock that jumper down. Oh, hey, how about a hat tip to Kofi Coburn? He kind of cleared the way for Curbelo. That was a pretty clean look there, but again, unable to get it to drop. And Curbelo scored last time, back-to-back oh, -back buckets, and both excellent moves by the freshman. You can see they're trying to work him more into the rotation. Curbelo with a step back, yes. Oh, that's pretty. Your defensive intensity is not going to let up here. Yeah, the seven-foot freshman that you mentioned, number 12, Brandon Lieb, is out there. Here's his freshman, Nate Curbelo. Wow, the six-footer can climb. You can always control the level of effort, and they have done an outstanding job of that in this first two games.
Illinois cruises again, 97-38. That'll do it for us. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.